Welcome back. Our Made with Pride series is back and it's where we give you rare access inside St. Louis companies and to the proud men and women who worked there. And in the past, we've taken you to Wentzville where the Chevy Colorado is made. It's one truck of the year, two years running. And then we went to Boeing giving you unprecedented look at the fighter jets built there. Today, we're going inside Anheuser-Busch. You better believe a company that dates back to the 1800s has a whole lot of history and they let our camera into an area that's off limits to the public where they store some of its treasures. Inside the oldest building on the AB campus. The building dates back to 1868. You will find a history of St. Louis. Operated as a schoolhouse um, until 1907. Told through beer. And Anheuser-Busch acquired it and made it their world headquarters. Helping tell the stories on these walls is archives manager Tracy Lauer. I love my job. It's it's probably the best job in St. Louis. It opened to the public last year and has about 400 artifacts. So this is the original Budweiser bottle. So a lot of people in St. Louis have these bottles in their collections. But her favorite item. And this is my grandmother's pocket knife. Instead of business cards, Adolphus Bush handed out pocket knives. So the consumer would get these and they could um, hold it up to the light and look through that little hole and inside is a picture of Adolphus Bush. The items in this building don't scratch the surface of AB's collection. Thousands more in a locked basement of the tour center. Welcome to the archives so room. It, huh? Yeah, this is it. This is our 3,000 square foot storage room. After every turn, the collection unfolds. And this is probably one of my favorite pieces. It's a great St. Louis brewery on a piece that showcases the Anheuser-Busch Brewery. Dozens of beer trays, hundreds of glasses and mugs, and an entire row of beer crates. This is much like the modern day milk crate. One of the crowning items here is this 1907 red dress Budweiser girl. One of the more famous pieces that we have. The model was an actual employee for AB. Her name was Doris Schofield. She actually worked for the company um, all the way through uh, for 68 years. She was 68? Yes, yeah, so that's a pretty long time. It's a great employee story. It's a great St. Louis story. Um, so it's, it's, and it's a beautiful piece to show. It's one of just 17,000 artifacts AB has in its collection. Yes, one of 17,000. You're going to be here a long time, right? <laughs> and AB's items are very collectible. The archives staff gets contacted all the time for people wanting to know what a particular item is worth. The staff doesn't keep prices, but they will explain the history of the piece to help you better understand it. Now, much more from Anheuser-Busch coming up at four. We take you to Arnold where cans and aluminum bottles are made from scratch. The one item that's so hot right now, they're having a hard time keeping up with demand. And Gary, I can tell you one thing, it is really loud at that facility. If you miss any of the stories, you can find them on our website. Just look for our Made with Pride uh, on the home page there. Lots of videos and tons of photographs for you to see. Yeah, but very impressive. Doing that. It was very impressive. It really was. And the, the can plant that you're going to see uh, coming up at 4 o'clock in Arnold, I'm telling you what, loud, loud, loud. You couldn't, you couldn't <laughs> ask questions. You're screaming at each other trying to, it's, it's very loud, but it was really impressive. I bet it is, A yeah. dizzying pace, seriously. Is, I, yeah, it's all about business. Fast. Get her done, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you Speaking know, of business, man, you man, guys are, are busy too. We do. Uh, let me get right to it, quite honestly, because we got a lot to talk yeah. about. So